Uh, shalom, giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth that rule well. Shalom to the elect scattered through four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Payal. As you can see here, there's an article that I just uh, recently seen. I haven't read it yet. I'm just going through the spirit. But I've been seeing a lot of like projective images online with uh, different prophets, different people. That's not really them. And um, even with uh, articles of rocks and, and certain artifacts that they have seen and people don't believe it because it's AI, digital. So it'll throw people off. Right? Stumbling block. Um, this article speaks on a computer-generated Jesus, which is not his name, but that's what it says. Takes TikTok by storm, promises divine blessings, potential jackpot for its creator. And uh, <clears throat> according to the scriptures, this is not how the Son of Man looks. All right? And also, that is not his name, um, but the majority of these religious beliefs that sign a 501c3 charter, which don't don't tell him the truth, it tells you how he looks in the same Bible you read, all right? You know, I've stumbled upon a lot of people preaching, you know, prophesying in the, in the highways and the byways. And uh, they'll see the sign of Yahweh Shai, which is the, the real name of the Son of Man in Hebrew, meaning um, he is the deliverer, or he delivers, right? Which is a, you know, a dark skinned man with white woolly hair, as it says in the scriptures. And we know during the time of the Renaissance period, meaning rebirth, when Esau started coming at, back into power, they, um, they whitewashed the images, you know, throughout Europe, throughout Russia. You have something called uh, um, iconoclasm, you know, where they destroyed certain, you know, icons and images of our ancient forefathers, the prophets, right, being depicted. And they turned it into... Basically a god of their own. And you see it in the movies. You see it in... um, You see it everywhere. You know? They want to be like the Most High. Even with... Um, fucking Leonardo. With his paintings. White baby Jesus and uh, angels or whatnot. And Mary. It's all bullshit. You know? And now you got this digital technology which... People don't even... <clears throat> bother to read the scriptures or get into it and I've stumbled like I said I stumbled upon certain Christians and Jehovah's Witness coming up to me and they'll look at the image the sign that I have and they'll say oh well why is he like that so well it's according to the scriptures so they'll come back and say oh well it doesn't matter about the image <laughs> right now it doesn't matter but they'll say it doesn't matter about the image. Um, it's about the spirit. Okay. I can agree with that. It is about the spirit. But it's also written in the scriptures how he looked. It's not just there just to fill the pages as Apostle Taha said. It's there for a reason. And it even describes the tribe he comes from. The tribe of Judah. Right? One of the top, top, top tribes... In the 12 tribes of Israel. When you read, you know, when you see the chart. And, um. So it matters. Because it, it. It even describes the image of Moses. You know, where he put his hand in his cloak. And it came out white. And he put it back. And then it was normal. You know, scriptures describe Job and Solomon. And, hey, shit, even Mary. Right when he was, she was plagued with, um, um, what's that called? Um, leprosy. Right when she lost the, the the pigmentation of her skin, and that's a curse. 
having blonde hair, blue eyes, that's a curse. When you go back to the curse of Cain, right? And then it even describes the complexion of um, Esau, right? Jacob and Esau, you know, they was in a womb, but they were two manner of nations. You see? So, this is all a stumbling block to you, people that don't read, right? As a matter of fact, let's get, um, let's get the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse, let's start at 11, all right? <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse number, let's start at 11, like I said, it says, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, right? The beginning and the end. You know, the scriptures speak of uh, um, Yahweh Shai um, being in the volume of the book. All throughout is spoken of him. You see? It says, and he was the, the first spirit that created. It says, and what thou seest, write in the book. And send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, right? Unto uh, Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Theatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea, right? These are seven churches. Slaki. <clears throat> And turn, and I turned to see. So it was written in the book for a reason to publish it. Blesses those that you know the men that published it, right? And remember, Yahweh was in the flesh on the earth. People saw him. He spoke to them. So if it doesn't matter about his complexion, why the fuck do you have a white man with long hair and blue eyes? Big ass image and majority of the tribes, you saw Cornegos, Latinos, and American Indians had that picture in your fucking house. If it doesn't matter about complexion, total hypocrisy, right? Anyway, it says, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven gold, golden candlesticks, right? Seven churches. And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed, first of all, is describing his clothing, his garment, right? Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Now, let me show you the image. Boom. He has a garment clothed down to the foot with the fringes that represents the, the, the law, statutes, commandments. The border blue. All right. So, you know, <clears throat> it says, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle around his, you know, around his waist. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So, first, it described the color. It was white, right? His head and his hairs, meaning the top of his head and his beard. Then it's a white. Then it described the texture like wool. Ain't no cracker with woolly hair, man. Right? So, it'll show you the line that he came from. You see? Just looking and, 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 and reading the scriptures, you understand it. You see? Ain't no man with white hair, with, with blonde hair and blue eyes. Gonna go in the projects talking about, yo, what's good, yo? They're gonna look at him like, what the fuck? You a fat? Bro? Who are you? You know what I mean? You ain't one of us. Now, you do have cases where, like, Blake Griffin, he's a light skinned, his pops was dark, things like that, but he's still a Jake according to his spirit. But, that's not the case here. It goes straight to the point, how he looks, what he wore, the color of his hair, the texture of his hair, right? Let's keep reading. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. 
Hey, you know, scriptures speak about him drinking wine. And um, you got to understand how he also was stressful, you know. You drink wine, it turns your eyes red. But anyway, it says... And his feet, like unto fine brass. Right? So, you know, you, you got the palm, the palm of your hand. It's, 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 it's a little brighter than the top skin. The bottom of your feet. So, if his feet was as, as fine brass, like unto fine brass, as if it, as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn brass like a penny... It'll come out very dark. So he was dark skinned. Not black. Alright. These people black. No he wasn't black. He was just a darker version of brown. Like the soil of the earth. And his voice. Has the sound of many waters. So now I describe his voice. He spoke with a loud voice. With authority. Remember he spoke to 5,000. That followed him. The 4,000. The multitude. You know, even when the, the, the lady, the, the, the woman touched the hem of his garment, there was many people there. He said, he, who touched me? And everybody heard it. You understand? So you got to understand, you got to envision it. You got to, because these other nations, they got a distinctive look to them. Every people got a distinctive look to them. You know what I mean? So that's why you, it's important, you know, when you read these scriptures. Right? Now, we've been scattered across the world, our people. So, we may look different. We may pick up on different things. But, that is not the case here. As a matter of fact, remember when Yahweh Shai said, uh, if you see me, you see the Father also. Right? Because, not only the works he did, the the, the, the things he prement, pr uh, 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 presented, the Lord's Statutes Commandments, how he uh, taught, but also even how he looked. And it tells you that even in the book of Daniel. All right, so real quick, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. It says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. When Yahweh shall come, bro, he's going to destroy all these thrones. That's why he's referred to as the King of Kings. All right, the Lord of Lords. And the Ancient of Days did sit. It's Yahweh Shah. The scriptures describe him as the Ancient of Days. So, we read about the Son. Now we're reading about the Father, right? Whose garment was white as snow. And the hairs of his head, like the pure wool, his throne was like the fiery flame. And his wheels as burning fires. Fire. See, you know what I mean? Cause hey, so there you go. Matter of fact, let me let me see if I get that scripture real quick. We close out on that. Let me see. Sometimes it don't. I believe that's in the book of Matthew, if I'm not mistaken. This app sometimes. Okay, okay. There we go. Verse 9. St. John chapter 14 verse 9. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? <laughs> Damn, that's heavy. Because he's the representation of his Father, man. You know, when you see a son, right? And he's by himself, and you know his pops. And you know his characteristics, you know how he moves, you know. You're like, yo, you just like your pops, man. You, the, you know? 
So, just like Yahweh Shah, with his with, with the Heavenly Father, all right, and we're supposed to be the representation of that as well through our works. And um, uh, with this AI bullshit over here, you know, this is like, yo, come on, man, are you serious? All right. Nearly all promise a surprise, a good news soon in exchange for the viewer liking, commenting, amen, or sharing it with their friends and family with this digital outreach. The daily, and these people don't even read, they don't even follow the scriptures, they don't even follow the diet, set, they don't even walk, they just honor, they don't know what the fuck they honor with their lips, but their work show different. This place is done. Anyway, with that, shalom.